Today I'm going to talk about Guthrie Govan and the update to his new live guitar rig. Previously I had done a video where I talked about Guthrie switching to digital on the Aristocrats tour. This was on Premier Guitar's rig rundown and Guthrie had switched from Victory Amps to playing a fa fractal FM9 floor unit with a little tiny uh, wedge for monitoring. And I gotta tell you, things got pretty heated in the comments section when I released that video. Oy vey. Currently, however, it looks like Guthrie's still using the Fractal FM9, but he's added something to his rig. The Laney LFR212 powered speaker cabinet, which is a cool looking cab. I mean, look at it. If they sounded good, I'd definitely use them on stage. I think it's a nice looking cab. And remember something else. Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath has been using Laney amps and cabinets for years and years, so I don't even question the quality of the speaker cabinet. Also looks like Guthrie may be in stereo because the recent picture shows him with two of these Laney 2x12 cabinets. On Guthrie Govan's Instagram, which is where I found out about this by the way, Guthrie states, Everyone is loving the sound and I'm getting more of that real cab experience than I've ever had before with a digital modeler. Finally, proper feedback. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I feel modelers have been missing. That synergy, that symbiosis between the guitar and a real amp and speaker cabinet to get that controlled feedback. That feedback that just, it's ready to unleash and go nuts and it just feels so good. It just, it makes you damn happy to be a guitar player to experience something like that. If you haven't, oh, you just need to once in your life experience that kind of power. And Guthrie is saying this is more like a real cab experience. And he says proper feedback. Wow, that is really something, something that I think digital modelers have been missing, that there's some strange disconnect between the digital modeler and what you are monitoring, especially if, you're only, if you only have in-ears uh, or even a little speaker wedge in front of you, that there's some weird disconnect uh, between the two things, uh, whereas you don't really have that with a real tube amp and a speaker cabinet. So this is really interesting that according to Guthrie, who I think everyone watching this respects highly, the symbiosis is there. It feels like playing through a real cab. And I think this is really neat for him. Compare this to Tosin Abasi, and I just did a video on that a few days ago, where Tosin says he left digital modeling to go with the bad cat amps, and that's because he felt there was more clarity and definition in his playing using the bad cat tube amps and speaker cabinets. And from what I understand, bad cat makes some really, really good shit. But I want to open this up to comments from all of you. What do you think about Guthrie's comment here where he says using these Laney cabs with the fractal gives him a little bit more of the real cab experience and that he's actually getting proper feedback. And if you're someone who's played two bands for years and you know about that synergy, that proper feedback that you get playing electric guitar that makes it just so amazing of an instrument, and you've also played modelers for quite some time, what do you think about um, getting this kind of proper feedback and symbiosis like what Guthrie is saying? I gotta tell you, I haven't used modelers in a live performance. I have used some amp plugins and I do think they sound good. But in a live performance, this is a different story. Uh, for my upcoming live shows, I am gonna be using a real tube amp and speaker cabinets. But I'm just so curious <laughs> if the modelers can give that kind of feeling. I don't mean strumming along to somebody else singing where it really doesn't matter too much. You're just gonna play the song. What about if you are one of those people that really vibes off that synergy going on on stage? Santana talks about this in a recent interview. He talked about that, that 
feedback that you can get from large speaker cabinets and volume and you just got to find the spot on the stage where this comes alive and you know he marks it off with an x to say when i want that note to really sing i go stand that spot and it's like it's like breathing is this thing just breathes and i have a feeling that modelers have been kind of missing that breathing that uh can only happen with good tube amps and of course good players help as well so I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments, like this video, share it with some of your friends. I really want to get this discussion going on the digital modelers in this respect, because this is huge that according to Guthrie, he's doing more than just putting up with a modeler. He's actually able to get it to react even closer to sitting with a real cab and real amp while he's playing live. Music, music, music. That's what this channel is about. But I've always felt that as a society, we are not getting enough music in our daily lives. And I don't mean just singing along in the car or streaming songs or occasionally picking up an instrument. I mean putting musical aspects in our daily life no matter where we are or what we're doing. So I wanna give you something. I wanna give you my free ebook called How to Put More Music in Your Life. It's gonna give you 10 different ideas of how to put more music in your daily life. And I will bet you that there will be ideas in there that you never even thought of. I really hope this free ebook will bring you some value. Just tap the link in the description below and type in your email and I will send you this ebook for free. Again, I hope it brings you a ton of value and increases your quality of life through music.